Yeah. yeah. This is not a chronic, you're not getting to this one. Eh? This is not a chronic, you're not getting to this one. <laughs> Well, wait, wait, don't you have to do that? Pull out, yeah. Pull out, yeah. Hello, and welcome to Trim for this National Horan League Division 3 between Down and Wee. The referee for today is Peter Harder from County Loud. And the referee now just checking the players and about to throw in the ball. And the ball is throwing in. And immediately, unfortunately, Pat Frank gets to touch the ball. Paddy Kelly's beaten for the ball. Comes over towards Christy Kelly. Christy Kelly, our left half back, hits the ball on the ground up towards Terence Ferguson. Terence gets the ball over towards the wing here and it's going to cross the line as a line ball far down. Number eight for down, Brendan Orr about to take the slide sideline cut. It's a very bad cut up towards the left wing up towards Christy Kelly and Mead and Christy slams it down along the back down to Brent Orr again and Brendan Orr in for down in towards the left square with Paddy McIntyre and the down full forward Brendan Cutter goes to ball, ball goes over the end line and wide. The book out to be taken by Mee Gargan, our Mee goalkeeper for the past three years. Up he comes, pucks the ball, a good puck it is, 70 yards out towards the left wing here. It breaks down to the down man, number 10, Anthony McGeegan, in towards the mid square. Where it's between Peter Farrell and the down corner forward. Peter slaps the ball out towards Lance Regan. And Lance Regan gets the ball out towards the left wing, up here's Terence Ferguson. Terence Ferguson sends the ball right up towards the down half-back line, where it's slapped down by the down centre half-back. Jerry Regan going with the ball. Boy's beaten for the ball, but the down left half forward. Who in turn is beaten for the ball by Terence Ferguson? But the down, number 12, Demers Opry has the ball and sends in towards the mid goals. And it's gone, it's gone very, very wide indeed. This match is a very important match to both teams. Puck out again taken by me, Holgar, and again is another puck out coming out towards the centre of the field towards Jerry Regan. And Jerry Regan slaps in the ball, but it's broken down by number 12, Demer Lapre. And Demer Lapre over to Demer to Lorenzo McMullen. And again, it's then towards the me goals, where it's taken well in the air there by me, Holgar. And me, Hall sends out towards the right wing, out towards Paddy Kelly. Paddy Kelly beaten by, by, for the ball by the centre half forward. And it's a corner forward now going in for down, 21 yards out from the me goals, but he's beaten by Terence Ferguson, Terence Ferguson, and the ball goes off Paddy McIntyre for a 70. And the linesman now placing the ball for the 70. And the 70, almost in front of the goals, a bit to the left of the centre of the goals. The centre half back, Christy McGeegan takes the 70 for down. It's in towards the mid paragraph and it's over the bar for the first goal for down. The 
book all again to be taken by Michal Garrigan. And Michal, up he comes. Books the ball out again is a very good puck. Up towards Jerry Regan once again. And Jerry's beaten again in the air for the ball. And it's the centre half hour. Jared Corto going for the ball now. He has the ball in towards the mid square once again. Paddy McIntyre slaps the ball down. He slaps the ball out towards Terence Ferguson. Terence is over towards the wing. And Paddy Kane now going for the ball. He's pushing the back, but the referee doesn't give a free. And the down wing half hour comes in for the ball and sends the ball over the bar. Scored by Demerle Pre. Down two points. Made no score at this stage. Again now, it's Michal Gargan with the puck out. And Michal comes with the puck out once again. Again, it's a long one up towards Martin Smith this time. And Martin slaps on the ball, the ball breaks back to the centre half back. Christy McGeegan, Christy McGeegan up towards the centre, up towards Paddy Kay. Paddy Kay stops the ball, tips out towards Terns, turns, hits the ball, but comes off the downs, downs right half back back. And it's a sideline puck for, for me to be taken by Christy Kelly. Our linesman here today for me is Terry Power from Kiltail. Up comes. Christy Kelly, it's a good one, right up towards the corner forwards of Mead, where Ben Tansy goes to the ball, but he's beaten, and the ball is cut out by the corner back. Paddy Kelly going for the ball, also is beaten. Terence Ferguson now on the ball, but our number 11 here, Jared Court, has the ball, and Terence is beaten for the ball. Brian Connor now on the ball for Mead, also in turn is beaten by Dermot Opre, and Dermot misses the ball, and out comes Brian Connor with the ball, he's trying to lift it, and he gets the free, the first free of the game. The free to be taken by Paddy Kelly, mid centre half back. And Paddy. It's a long puck up towards Frank Lynch of the mid team. And it's well caught there by a down wing half back. And it's a very bad clearance by the same player. Matt Smith now going for the ball. Slaps in towards Frank Lynch. And Frank has the ball now. He gives it out to Jim Priest. And Jim Priest takes a lovely cut towards the down goals. Yes, Ben has the ball as a great save by the down goalkeeper, Noel Keith, at the expense of a 70. And this step will be taken by Paddy Kelly. Paddy placed the ball now himself. Forward to 70. Up he comes, lifts and strikes the ball. It's a very, very good one indeed. It's scoring out to the right, but I think, yes, it's scored out and wide. The puck out will be taken by the down keeper, Noel Keith. Up comes Noel now. And it's a mighty puck out with the breeze. It goes about 80 yards. And Paddy Kay now on the ball. Christy Kay slams out the ball towards the right wing for me. Jerry Regan go for the ball. But is beaten by the number 12, Dermot Opre. And Dermot sends the ball in towards the mid square. In between Paddy McIntyre, the mid full back, and the, and the full forward. It breaks out towards Larne Regan. Larne's is pushing the back, and the referee sees it as a free out for Mead. This free to be taken by Michal Garrigan. And Michal steps up to take the free. He lifts. Comes about 60 yards out up towards Martin Smith here on the wing. And slapped down by Terence Ferguson. Turns out towards Martin Smith. Martin has the ball on the ground. He has the ball on the sand. A left handed shot up towards the right wing. Up towards Ben Tansy in the corner back. And Ben has the ball. He's beaten by the full back. And Jim Priest now is also beaten by the number five. Now it comes up towards Terence Ferguson. Terence has the ball. He slams it in towards the down goals. But the down men are out in front of the men. And once again, they clear their lines. It's breaking up towards the mid half back line. Paddy Kelly slaps it out. But there is their number eight, Brendan Orr. And Brendan, scap the stop. It goes in towards Brian Connor. And Brian, Brian now has the ball now. And a good clearance up towards the centre, up towards Martin Smith. And Martin doubles on the ball beautifully. Up towards Frank Lynch. And Frank Lynch sends a beautiful ball in towards the goals. But it's gone just barely wide. Mead now going back in the game in the last few minutes or so, begin to find their feet and settle down. The ball seems to be lo uh, lost in the long grass behind the goals. This is a problem with the trim pitch. I emphasise any trim official looking at this match here today, the, the sooner the netting is put behind those goals, the better. 
new ball has been thrown in by Down. And it's been given to their goalkeeper, Noel Keith and Noel. All the rest in black with the red stripes. Yes, it's a long puck out. It comes about 50 yards from the mid goals. And it's Christy Kelly now on the ball for me, under pressure. The ball breaks off Jared Coulter. And it's Jared in towards the corner forward, in towards the full forward, Brendan Coulter. And Brendan takes a shot and he scores a point. That is three points for Darren. And again, it's Michal Gagman to put out for lead. And Michal, a very good put out against this slight breeze. Goes between Jar Regan and the down man once again. Jar is beaten in the air and it comes up towards Peter Farr. And Peter Farr's in turn is beaten by Lawrence McMullen. Lawrence McMullen takes his shot, it's in towards the meat goals, but the referee blows his whistle and awards a free out for the down player standing in the square. Michal Garrigan, the goalkeeper to take this free. And Michal strikes the ball very, very well. They come to the halfway stage and it's gathered by the number six, Chris McGeegan. Chris McGeegan sends the ball in towards the mid square between Paddy McIntyre, the mid full back, and the full forward. The ball has gone wide off the full forward. Down putting a bit of pressure on in this first half. Again, it's the puck out to be taken by Michal Gargan. Ten minutes gone in the first half now as Michal sends the ball out towards the centre of the field. It comes up between Frank Lynch and there's a bit of a, of a, a melee here at the moment with the ball, but Paddy Kelly has the ball under control. Me centre half back. His, his puck is blocked down by the centre half forward and Lars Regan comes to the rescue of Meade. A very good clearance towards right wing up towards Jerry Regan. Jerry Regan doubles in the ball. Now he's running towards the ball. Yes, he gets in towards... Tom Massey, and Tom Massey, 50 yards out, takes a shot in towards the square, in between Ben Tansy's left corner back. The ball breaks, and the full forward has the ball, but Ben Tansy's still on the ball for me. Can this be the first goal for me? Ben doubles on the ball, but the ball goes wide. That was a golden opportunity lost for me. No Keith for down now with the puck out once again. And it's Noel. A long puck out indeed, up towards Brian Connor and Demeter Pre, but the ball is cleared by Paddy Kelly of Mead. And it's Jerry Regan now on the ball for Mead, beat, beaten by Danny Hughes. And it's Danny Hughes now with the ball, but it's cleared by Jim Priest. And the ball is over the line, and the line ball for down. To be taken by their number six, Chris McGeegan. And it's Chris McGeegan now with a sideline cut in, in towards the square between Paddy McIntyre and the full forward. Paddy slaps the ball out, but their number 10 there is there to pick it up, Anthony McGeegan. And Anthony takes a shot. And the ball, it's, it's a point for down to be taken by Anthony McGeegan. Score now, four points for me, no score for, for down. Sorry, the wrong way around, four points for down and no score for me. And once again, it's Michal Gag with the puck out. This game has yet to liven up. At the ball comes out again, up towards Terence Ferguson. Ball slapped down by the number eight, Brendan Orr. And Brendan Orr, in turn, the ball goes to Paddy McMullen. And Paddy McMullen clears the ball up towards his wing half forward. But the wing half forward is beaten by Christy Kelly. And it's a line ball for down. And down's Brendan Orr will take the sideline cut. And switching the B team now has brought Frank Lynch out to centre field and Jerry Regan under 40 yards. Sideline cut taken by Ben Noor in towards the B goals. Attack broken up by. And it's a goal for down. A bad mistake by the Mead go me goalkeeper. Twelve and a half minutes gone in the first half. Down 1 4, Mead no score. And it's Michal Gargan now, with the puck out. Frank Lynch doubles in the ball in the middle of the field. And the ball breaks to Jerry Regan. Jerry Regan now has the ball in his hand. Yes, he sends it in towards Frank McCann, our full forward. Frank McCann now has the ball in his hand. He's trying to make room for himself to get a shot in. He's gone, he's gone he's at least made 20 yards. 
He's lost the ball. He tips the ball on the ground in towards Ben's hands, but Ben is beaten by the cornerback, and the cornerback gets out to his centre half back, Chris McEagan, and Chris McEagan up towards the centre of the field, where the attack is broken up by. Brian Connor, but Brian is also beaten for the ball, but still goes back to regain the ball, and Brian sends the ball out towards the very, very far wing. It's gone over the line, and it's a line ball for down. To be taken by their number six, Chris McGeegan. No, their number 12 has decided to take the ball, as takes take the sideline court. He sends it back to Chris McGeegan, down to the halfback, who in turn sends a beautiful ball in towards the mid goals. But the ball has gone over the end line and wide. Mihal Gargan now with the puck out. A long puck out towards the very far wing. Goes between Frank Lynch and their number 12, Demer Opre. And Demer Opre is beaten by Frank Lynch up to Tom Massey. Tom Massey sends the ball in towards the full forward line. In fact, McCann reaches out with the ball. The ball breaks to Ben Tansy. And Ben fumbles the ball on the ground. And Turner goes back to the left corner back, but it's been hassled by Frank McCann. But it comes out to the number 7, Demer Woods. And Demer Woods now on the ball. Gives it to his full back. Paddy Hughes and Paddy clears his lines. A very bad clearance is about 10 yards. And the ball comes out to the middle of the field. Out towards the number eight, Brendan Orr. And Brendan Orr makes room for himself. He's blocked, he's hooked by Tom Massey and he gets the free. The free to be taken by their number six, Chris McGeegan. Chris comes up, lifts the ball, he strikes, again is in towards the mid goals, it's gone very, very high indeed. And it's a, another point, score by the centre half back, number three, far down. And that play is scored down, 1 5, meet no score. And 15 minutes gone in the first half. And once again, it's Michal Gargan with the puck out. Of course, it comes to Terence Ferguson. Terence doubles on the ball, sends the ball in towards Frank Lynch. Frank Sends the ball in and on the ground in towards Ben Tansy. And it's Ben on the ball now. Ben has the ball in his hand. He takes a shot in towards Frank McCann. And Frank McCann is beaten by the full back, but the ball breaks off his back. Frank McCann is fouled, but the referee turns a blind eye to, towards Frank McCann's appeals, or else he didn't see the foul. The ball is cleared over towards the left wing, up towards Brian Conn on the wing half hour. Brian sends the ball on the ground up towards Jerry Regan. And Jerry is beaten by the down wing half back, Demi Woods. And Demi Woods gets up to Brendan Orr. And Brendan Orr now has the ball. He's, he, he cuts across towards the left wing on a sword and sends the ball in towards the mid square. Ball breaks in the mid square and the ball goes over the end line and wide. Score down 1 5, mid no score. And again, the puck out to be taken by Michal Garrigan. And Michal with a puck out once again. Out between Frank Lynch and Danny Hughes. And Danny Hughes is blocked down by Frank Lynch. But Frank, in turn, is beaten once again by Danny Hughes. And it's Danny Hughes now with the ball. It's a free against him for handing the ball on the ground. And Paddy Kelly, number six for me, will take this free. Slaps it in towards the down goals. Frank McCann goes the ball, doubles on the air. The ball breaks in towards Tom Massey. And Tom Massey being marked tight by there by two men. Matt Smith now on the ball, also beaten by Terence Ferguson, has the ball for me. Tips, tips out to Jim Priest. And Jim Priest takes a shot. His freeze back down, but he gets his puck in towards Tom Massey. And Tom is beaten in turn by the left corner back. And the right half back, Devin Woods clears the ball up towards the centre. But number 12, Devin Play has Brian Connors there and gives the ball to Paddy Kelly. Paddy Kelly now 60 yards out from the down goals. He takes a shot. It's in towards the goals, the down goalkeeper, no kick, saves the ball. He sends it out, clears his lines up towards the 50-yard line. Up to Brendan Orr, and Brendan Orr sends the ball up towards the corner here, between Larry Rigg and the corner forward. The corner forward, number 15, has the ball. He's, he takes a shot, but he's beaten by Peter Farrell. A great interception there by Peter, and Peter has a chance now to clear his lines. He clears the ball out towards the very far side, up between Brendan Orr and Frank Lynch. And Brendan takes a shot, it's high, and it's... Over the bar to make the score down 1 6, meet no score. And it's me, Hall Gargan now, with a puck out once again for Mead, out towards this wing this time. 
And Terence Ferguson on the ball, but the ball breaks. Christy Kelly gets the ball out. Martin Smith now on the ball. And it's Martin up towards Jim Priest. Jim Priest sends the ball in another 10 yards along the ground. And it's Jim Priest once again. He's been tackled very, very hard. Now, and Jim Priest has the ball. A bit of a, a, bit, a, bit of a tussle going on here between two players. Now, the referee now coming in to sort things out. And Christy Kelly now, meets left half back, seems to be very badly injured. His knee seems to be at him. Fergus in the meat coach and Billy Bourne in the meat selector are attending to Christy Kelly. Christy seems to be okay and seems to be able to continue on. Retaliation there, this has to be a throw in between the two players involved. Number six, Chris McGeegan to take, to take the free far down. 70 yards from his own goals. And it's Chris now. A long puck. Picking up by Lance Reagan up to Christy Kelly. Christy Kelly is hooked, but he's still on the ball. And it's Christy. Slips the ball, but breaks off a down man. Number 11 for down. Gerald Court has the ball. He sends it right across the mid square. Peter Farr under pressure, but it's a free out again. The referee sees that down man standing in the square. Meath have yet to score in this first half. And the score is down 1-5. Meath no score. Paddy Kay now under the ball. Slaps it up towards the centre, up towards Frank Lynch. Frank Lynch now slaps it across to Jim Priest. And Jim Priest has the ball on the ground, sends it in towards the Meath full forward line. Ben Tansy now on the ball. Ben breaks off Ben, but is beaten again by, the number, by his own cornerback. Out towards the left cornerback, who clears the lines up towards the far side. Up towards Daniel Prey. And Daniel Prey now has the ball in towards... The, the meets in their half back line, but Paddy Kelly has the ball for me and gets a slap from the down player. The referee gives Paddy Kelly a free and me a free. Paddy Kelly now 70 yards from the down goals, takes his free, sends in towards the square. And the ball goes just narrowly wide. Puck out is taken by Noel Keith. Comes right up to the mid half back line. Ball comes down towards Paddy Kelly. It's slapped out by Paddy Kelly. But uh, uh, Demi Prey gets the ball in for down. It comes up between Lance Regan and Demi Prey. It goes over the sideline and it goes over the line as a line ball now for Mead to be taken by Christy Kelly. Silent Cup are taking place are very, very going. Frank Fish now has the ball for Mead. He gets his puck in towards the Mead goals towards Tom Massey. And Tom Massey's beaten by the down left corner back. He sends out towards the down corner back and on Torrance clears his lines right up towards the, the mid goals. Where Larry Regan's going for the ball. He, he is beaten by the down number 10, Anthony McGeegan. Anthony and Torrance beaten by Christy Kelly. And it's Christy Kelly now on the ball. He clears his lines right up towards the. This the play has got a bit uh, untidy at the moment. The ball is hand passed out to the down corner back, corner forward. Down corner protects his shot, goes towards the mid goals and it's wide. Puck out to be taken by Mihal Garrigan, and it's Mihal. Good puck out towards this side, this time with Taos Jim Priest, and it's Jim Priest now under the ball for Mead. He breaks the ball down, but the down number five is there, Paddy Mullen, McMullen, and Paddy clears his lines 
up towards Lorenzo McMullen and Lorenzo or cleared by Lance Regan Lance Regan down towards Martin Smith Martin Smith on the ball and Martin gets his ball in towards Jerry Regan it's intercepted by the down centre half back and it's turns on the ball now and turns gets broken in but again it's cleared by Demis Woods of down and Demis sends a beautiful ball up towards the mid goals and the down corner forward takes a shot and the, and the shot is very very wide indeed again the puck out to be taken by me Garrigan I'll be taken by Mihal Gagan, it goes to the very far side. The down number 12, Danny Hughes now has the ball. And it's Danny now with the ball. His puck is half locked down by Frank Lynch. But their number 11, Jared Corton now has the ball for down. He's trying to make room to swing a stick. Gets the ball out, but it's intercepted by Brian Connor. And it's Brian up towards Frank Lynch, and it's Frank Lynch on the ground up towards the mid goals. But it's intercepted by there by the down left corner back. Up towards their number 10, Alec McGeegan. Alec McGeegan takes a shot and the ball goes wide. Down full forward has got injured. Seems to have a very, very bad cut eye. And it's Mihal Gargan now again with the puck out. And Mihal pucks the ball out towards up towards the centre of the field up between Martin Smith. Martin doubles on the ball. And it's Martin again doubles on the ball again. Gets the ball in towards the centre, in towards Ben Tansy. And Ben slaps the a beautiful ball in towards the mid square. But the full forward line are not staying in. The ball is still out again, out towards Paddy McMullen. But Terence Franklin goes to the ball, the ball breaks up to Brendan Orr, and Brendan Orr takes a, sh a puck in towards the, the mid goals. And the ball goes over the end line and wide. Let me haul Garing with the puck out once again for Mead. Me haul, puck out now comes out to this, towards this wing. Between turns, 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 slams the ball up towards Ben Tansy. Can Jared Regan make it this time? Jared has the ball in his hand. He gets by his man in towards Ben Tansy. And Ben now has the ball running onto the ball. He's trying to get the ball up on the stick. The ball just won't come up for him. And he's beaten by the left corner back. And it's Demo Woods now clears his lines for down. It comes out towards the centre here. And it's Frank Lynch now with the ball. Hustled off the ball by the down back. In towards Ben Tansy again. Ben has the ball in. Out to Paddy Kelly. And Paddy Kelly now. The centre half back for Mead. is after making round about 30 yards. He takes a shot but he's hooked. Again he has the ball. He's lost the ball again. It's a, it's a free in for Mead. This could be the first goal for Mead. It's only 30 yards now from the down goals. <laughs> 25 minutes gone in the first half. Frank McCann to take this free for Mead. Frank comes up and takes his shot, and it's, that's the first goal for me taken from a free, and the free taker was Frank McCann. That leaves the score down 1 6, Mead 1 point. to be taken by Noel Case again for down and it's Noel now it's a very long puck out and it's dropping down now Terence puts the ball Terence Rags will be but he's beaten but the number 22 now is on for down and our number 22 is a fellow called Tom Savage but Terence Ferguson clears his line for Mead up towards the centre half forward Gerald Court now has it for down sends the ball in towards the down full forward Brendan Coulter and Brendan trying to make room to swing his stick gets his shot in towards Paddy McIntyre and Paddy McIntyre and Mighty clearance for Mead up towards the Mead half hour line but our number two is number two Brian Bell who's playing a great game here for down clears the lines once again up to Demerplay and Demerplay is beaten by Brian Connor and Brian is out towards Tom Massey and Tom Massey now running on the ball for Mead gets his, his puck in towards the down goals but again it's Brian Bell for down clears the lines once again for down Comes up to Demer Prey and Demer Prey takes a shot in towards the mid goals. And Peter Farris, the Mead's right corner back, is beaten by Lorenzo McMullen. And Lorenzo McMullen is also in turn is beaten by Peter himself. But the down full forward now has a Brendan Coulter and Brendan takes a shot in towards the mid goals. But Peter Farris intercepts and clears his ball, clears his lines very, very well or towards Jim Priest of Mead. 
and it's Jim now on the ball for Mead. Out towards Jar Regan. It's Jar, Jar Regan now on the ball for Mead. He's gone a sore run, gone 20 yards. He hits the ball in towards the down goals, but again it's broken up by the down number four, Paddy Brandoff. And Paddy sends the ball up towards, puts down the attack once again, and it's Devil Play far down. Takes a shot and sends the ball wide. Michal Gargan now with the puck out for Mead. He gets right under it this time and sends it up towards the 70 yard line. Jerry Regan doubles on the ball out towards Tom Massey and Tom Massey now has the ball. Wearing the number 17 jersey and Tom gets the ball in towards the down goals. Ben Tansy going for the ball once again and Ben now has an opening this time. He has the ball into his hand. He's trying to get room to swing his stick in towards the centre but he only half hits the ball. And the full back for down gets the ball and sends it out back out to his corner back Brendan Branoff. And Branoff sends the ball, sends down the attack once again. The, the attack is broken up by Peter Farrell. And Peter now has the ball. He's coming out with it now. And Peter, his, his, his puck is blocked down, but again he regains the ball. He's fighting a hard battle there, and he gets himself a free. So bomb for Mead. Declan Marston, Nickel Dockey Club. I think makes his first appearance for Mead in a National Hurling League match. And Jim Price is coming off. Paddy Kelly now to take this free on his own 70 yard line. Out towards the wing here, out towards Martin Smith. Well, Ma Martin is beaten by his, by his marker and the ball comes up towards Christy Kelly. Christy Kelly gets the ball, hits the ball on the ground. He clears his lines out towards the centre. This is definitely a race for the ball. Declan Marston now his first touch of the ball, he sends it in towards the centre. But the down centre half back is having a brilliant game here. But Jerry Ger Regan beats him this time up towards Tom Massey. And Tom misses the ball. Up towards Frank McCann, the mid full forward. And Frank gets the ball right across the square where, where Ben Tanks. This could be a, for a score for Mead. Yes, Tom Massey scores a great goal for Mead. And this will definitely bring Mead right back in the game. The ball came off the down goalkeeper. And it was shot there by Ben Tansey. But Tom Massey was there to put the ball in the back of the net. The score now is Mead 1 1, down 1 6. And time is just up. Puck out again, be taken by Noel Keyes. And it's Noel with, with a long puck right up towards the mid half back line. The ball is stopped by Terence Ferguson, slapped up by Terence Ferguson. The ball now is I'm on the ground, but the ball breaks out towards the, the wing here. And it's sent in by the down number eight, Brendan Orr. And Brendan Orr up to his full forward. And the full forward takes a shot and scores. A point for down to lead the score 1 7, mid 1 1. One minute over the official half hour, Michal Gagan now with the puck out. And there goes the half time whistle. The half time score down 1 7, mid 1 1. The team now gathering together in a ring now in the middle of the pitch. In the subs there I see Richie Mia. In the subs there I see Richie Mia. The Duke Ennis is also there playing in the senior hurling final next Sunday. Uh, Richie has appeared in the last two and he has me on the victorious side. Also there I see the Crash Cardigan who plays for Kildark in the mid panel. And Brendan Simons who played a magnificent hurling match for Abboy this morning. Uh, and our own club drew with him in the semi final of the minor hurling championship. Also there I see Shamie Nellis who has been with on the media panel for the last 12 months. And also I see out there the three big men having a, a consultation. Uh, Fiend Lewis B, Paddy Kelly and Billy Byrne, what they're going to do about this six point that they are in arrears. Um, Desi Ferg's now over there looking after his injured players. Christy Kelly still, still seems to have a, a problem with his knee with the injury he got in the first half. But the big question is, can Mead pull back that lead and win this very important National Hurling League game? To have it all to do in the second half. Also, I see Noel kicking out there, one of the...
people involved with the Kilkale in, the, in their two years of greatness. And up this other end now, I see young Kevin Murray who won a minor hurling championship uh, with Trim last year. I also see Piers Ferguson, both boys won an All-Ireland medal with Mead in 1983, All-Ireland Special. And I think I see Enda McCaffrey there as well, also a Trim minor of the past and presently on the Trim Under-21 hurling team. Now the camera seems to be on the, uh, on the spectators or on Pat Lacey coming up along the line. Pat, uh, one of Mead's prominent referees in hurling at the moment, only came onto the scene there last year and has proved himself a very, very worthwhile referee indeed. If the camera can reach the very, very far seat above, I see the chairman of our club, Mr Sean Colligan, uh, alongside him is Mr Ted Murta and the man, the genius as we call him here in Trim, the uh, number one selector, Kevin Murray. Also, sit beside Kevin, I think I see uh, Mead's Horizon coach's wife, Mrs. Desi Ferguson. And if I come up along the line further, I see he's just been blinded here, I think, by the man in the cap there, the man in the cap, uh, who will definitely will be playing in next uh, Sunday's final, John Ennis. John, who has given uh, great service to the Mead Horizon team in the past number of years, and one of the outstanding men in, in uh, Mead Horizon at the present time has, is injured for the day and cannot play. But let's hope he's fit to take his place for that line next Sunday in the senior hurling final. I also see James Carney there. James has been a very prominent member with the Mead Hurling team of the past and also a very prominent member of the Boards Mill Club to, to his present day and also is very, very heavily involved with juvenile activity in the county and it's one of the ma major reasons why Mead Juvenile in the county level is at the top. Also I see now who was trying the three selectors of the Mead team is Mark McCormick. And Martin also has proved himself a very, very worthwhile referee. He plays for his natural talk at the present time both football and hurling. One time he played senior football with Trim and at the same time played senior hurling for Kildaki. Uh, coming off the field now, I see uh, Des Ferguson, of course, coming off again now after doing his duties there at half time. I've no doubt about it, but his bit of a talk must inspire these mead lads. And I also see Noel Keating, uh, as I already stated, heavily involved with the tail. Uh, Meads Championships, the Meads Champions for the last two years, but were beaten in the semi final last Sunday. And Meads will have a new Championship final next Sunday. New faces there in the form of Kalain after Kalain had a four year gap. Second half now is about to start and the score still remains down 1-7, Mead 1-1. One, one. Lining up in the centre of the field for Mead is Frank Lynch and Terence Ferguson. The down centre field is Brendan Orr and Danny Hughes and your referee Brendan, Peter Harner from County Loud. Uh, the referee is checking around, seeing that the pitch is cleared of players and officials and what have you. Uh, a very small crowd at this hurling match here today. The mid hurling team gets very little support from the hurling clubs, spectator wise. The referee now does double check and see everything is okay. He's checking to his umpires to check the time as well. The ball is thrown in. The first man to get touched the ball is uh, Peter Harner, but the, the attack is broken up by Paddy Kelly. And Paddy now, after making great ground, he's after coming from his own 70 yard line. And he now is 30 yards now from the down goals. A left handed shot in towards the square. The ball is coming in. It goes up to the down goalkeeper. No kid saves the ball. His kick is blocked down. And it's a goal for me. A great opportunity goal. I think it was scored by Ben Tansy. And this definitely brings me right back in the game. The score now is that made two goals, one point. That is seven points and down 1-7. Well taken by Noel Keith. And a, a, a good double on the ball there by Terence Ferguson. Terence Ferguson now himself on the ball. Jerry Regan now has the ball in his hand. He takes a shot in towards the mid goals. In towards Frank McCann, the down full back. Frank McCann pushing the back, but the referee turns a blind eye to it. Ben Tansy now on the ball. And it's Ben under a lot of pressure. Um, but the attack is broken up by the left corner back, Paddy Braniff, and Paddy clears his lines, but the ball is sent in once again by Terence Ferguson. Frank McCann now on the ball, being hassled, but he's still on the ball. He gets his tip in, he tips it out towards Joe Regan. Joe Regan now on the ball, has the ball in his hand, he makes room to swing the stick, he takes a shot, and it's a great point there from Joe Regan. And Mead have got off to a great start here in the second half. But my 
colleague here, my advisor here, says that Flat McCann had a lot doing in the making of that score. The ball is booked up by Noel Keith once again, up towards the mid half back line. It's stopped by Moss Connor, and Moss now on the ball, in turn is beaten. But the lines are cleared by Peter Farr, and Peter up towards Frank Lynch, and Frank Lynch now on the ball. Frank loses the ball. And Paddy Kay gets the ball, clears the ball out again. But Frank Lynch has the ball, he clears the line up towards Jerry Regan. The ball's a bit too high for Jerry. Of course, now Martin Smith now on the ball. He hits the ball in, to in, in towards the mid goals, and Frank McCann again is being pushed in the back, but the referee again turns a blind eye to the ball. Tom Mass now the ball, out towards Ben Tansy, and Ben making his way in, 14 yards over goals, takes a shot, and it's a great goal for Mead. Mead right back at this game now, three goals and two points to downs, 1-7. Uh, a player down here injured for Mead. Mead, three goals and two points down, one goal and seven points. Mead have a player down injured. Tom Massey, the Klein player. And Tom now being attended to by Des Ferguson out there and, and uh, Billy Bourne and Fingy Lingsby. Tom seems to be okay. I didn't see that incident, uh, what happened Tom there actually. But Tom playing on the main team here, I don't know if it's his first time ever or not to play on the senior team, but he's made, made the big improvement here to the forwards here today. Now the free taken by Down, it comes up, it goes over the, the very far side and it's a line ball for Down. That man takes his free, sends it up towards the very far wing, Christy Kelly on the ball. And Christy slams the ball and a great clearance. It comes right over the head of Terence Ferguson and down around the attack once again. But Brian Connor breaks up the attack. And Brian now playing a great game here. A right corner back also seems to receive a tip. Down now begins to use a bit of force here in this match to let the stick in. Paddy Kane now to take this free from Mead, 50 yards from his own goals. As Paddy now bends, lifts and he strikes the ball. It's a very poor free indeed, very unusually for Paddy Kelly, but he gets the ball up towards Martin Smith and it's Martin now on the ball. Martin, who incidentally is getting married next Saturday and his club is playing the senior hurling final the next day, gets the ball in towards the corner and the, the down goalkeeper comes out with he lets the ball goes over the end line and wide. And no kick now again, once again with a puck off or down. It comes out up towards the left wing here, up towards Brian Connor and Danny McPray, but Frank Lynch breaks up the attack and Frank gets the ball in towards the centre. And Ben Tansy now on the ball. And Ben on the ball now slends the ball in towards the down goals. Oh, it's a great save by the downkeeper, no kick. And no, sends it clears it out towards the very far wing. And the ball bigs Terence Ferguson and, and his counterpart as well. And the number 10, Danny McPray again sends the ball up into the attack for down. And it's Paddy Kelly trying to Shoulders the man off the ball, and Kelly now had the ball in his hand. He gets his puck in, again it's up towards Martin Smith, up towards Tom Massey. The down number four now, who's playing a great game in the first half now. And Tom Massey now beginning to get the better of him, and Tom takes a shot. It's high, and it's just gone very wide, he's very, very unlucky with that shot. Down goalkeeper again. Goalkeeper the puck out. And Frank Lynch doubles in the ball in the middle of the field and he clears the lines up towards Tom Massey and Tom Massey now roaming all over the place. He takes a shot and this time I think it's a very, very good one. It's a very, very good point from Tom Massey indeed. And that increases Mead's lead from three goals, three, two, three goals and three points down, one goal and seven points. And six minutes gone in the first half. Puck out again taken by Noel Keith. Of course, Terence, 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 Terence missed the ball. And it's a free, a very lucky free there, I think, for me. I don't know what the referee's seen, but he's seen that the man fouled the ball. And the free will be taken by Paddy Kelly.
and Paddy now. Let's hope he'll send this one in towards a, in towards a small a small square. Again, it's not as long as his usual freeze. It's, it's cleared by the centre half back Brendan Coulter and Brendan up to it is number eight Brendan Orr and Brendan Orr sends down on the attack once again. And the ball comes up to Lorenzo McMullen and Lorenzo is beaten by Lance Regan and Lance. Uh, the attack is broken up again by Chris McGeegan and Chris McGeegan gets the, the ball in towards the, the mid goals and Paddy McIntyre misses the ball but he goes back to regain the ball and McIntyre still on the ball the attack broken up by Peter Farr and Peter trying to clear his line but the ball is double down full forward now has the ball he takes a shot it has to be a goal it's the free out it's a free out it's a free out the referee has blown the whistle it must be a free out the whistle was definitely gone Yes, the score stands. That puts down 2-7, made 3-3. Three, three. But looking at it from up here at the viewpoint, I don't think the man was in the square. Me Hall Gag now with the puck out. Once again, as a good puck out. It comes up towards Martin Smith, and Martin is pushing the back. But the ball goes on towards Ger Regan, and Ger is beaten in, in turn by the down corner back. The ball breaks to Terence Ferguson. Terence has the ball now. He sidesteps his man. He gets the ball out towards Ben Tansy, and Ben Tansy lets the ball run by him. And he missed the ball. In turn, he gets the ball across. He's trying to get the ball across too. The best stop is here in play now. The ball comes back out towards the centre of the field. Up towards Peter Farr now on the ball for Mead and Peter not playing his usual game here today for Mead. Kicks the ball out towards the wing here where Anthony McGeegan has the ball for down. Anthony's turn is, uh, puck is blocked by Brian Connor, Brian, but he gets the puck in towards the down full forward. Down full forward beaten in turn by Paddy McIntyre and Brian Connor right out, up towards the centre. And Frank Lee's now on the ball for Mead. He missed the ball completely but still on the ball. He slips the ball on the ground up towards the down back line, towards down goals, only on the ball now is Terence, and Terence has the ball, he tips on, on, on a stick, he's been hustled off the ball, but still on the ball, yes Frank McCann now out to help him, and Frank gets the ball in towards Declan Mass, but Declan Mass missed the ball completely, but Ben Tansy's running off the ball now, and Ben, who plays his holding for an half no madness, he's trying to get the ball up, he has the ball in his hand, he takes a look and he takes a shot, the shot is in towards the down goalkeeper, No Keith, and Noel Keith brings it down, gets the ball and clears the lines out to the very far side, out towards Anthony McGeegan and the ball is slapped out by Christy Kelly and it comes back in towards his position again and it's Christy on the ball now and Christy trying to get the ball up, gets the ball on the ground up towards the very far side where Ger Regan now is going for the ball and Ger is beaten by the down corner back and, and the centre half back far down Chris McGeegan clears his lines up towards Peter, Peter Farrell, misjudges the ball completely Paddy McIntyre comes to the rescue and so does Brian Connor now running onto the ball here now it's Terence Ferguson and the ball is cleared by Frank Lynch up towards Declan Marston. Declan Marston missed the ball completely but Paddy Kelly now has the, is, is on the ball for me. In turn he's beaten. The game has gone very, very scrappy. Christy Kelly clears the ball up towards the, the down goals and the down to the half back who's playing a brilliant game here. Christy McGeegan sends his team on the attack and it's a free out for Mead. Mead player injured over there. I think it's Martin Smith. And Martin seems to be very, very badly injured. Sub going on in this place. This is me second sub in this match. Martin Smith now being replaced by Richie Media, and Richie's going in the corner forward, and Tom Mass is coming out to the wing. That best seems, seems to be okay. Mead, at this stage, with 11 minutes gone in the first half, the score is Mead 3-3, three, three, down 2-7. 12 points to 13. 11 minutes gone in the first half. Taken by Michal Gargan, comes up towards the, the down half back line. Tom Mass in the ball, but Tom is beaten by Demer, by Demer Woods. And Demer Woods in turn is block, his puck is blocked down by Tom Massey. And a goal ball breaks to Jerry Regan, and Jerry gets in a lovely shot indeed. A great point by Jerry Regan. Jerry, who plays his Holy Wickle Taylor, who's come, come on the Mead team in the last month or so, has a great future ahead of himself.
Down goalkeeper once again, no keeper the puck out. A very good puck out is comes out to the centre of the field. Jerry Regan doubles in the ball. It goes over to Terence, Terence, Terence Ferguson. Terence Ferguson on the ball is beaten and, and torn by the down centre of the field there. Brendan Orr and Brendan sends up towards the down goals. But the ball is cleared by the down wing half back. And now it's up between the full forward and Paddy McIntyre. And, the, and it's a free out for Mead as the down full forward Brendan Cotter was pushing the Mead full back Paddy McIntyre in the back. Paddy McIntyre now with a free for Mead. It's a very, very good free. It comes up towards the 70 yard line. It's doubled on by Declan Marson. Declan Marson, the ball is cleared by Paddy McMullen. Paddy McMullen gets the ball up to Anthony McGeegan. Anthony McGeegan on the ball now with Moss Connor. Anthony beats Moss. Comes up towards Paddy Kelly. And Paddy Kelly uh, misjudges the ball completely. It's up to the down full forward line. And Paddy McIntyre. Paddy McIntyre now staying with his man and playing his man very, very well. Gets his clearance out towards the wing half back. And there's a great interception there by Christy Kelly. Christy Kelly trying to get the ball up, but just the ball will not come up in the stick for him. And now it's a centre half back. Christy McGeegan for down. Gets the ball over towards the right wing. And who's now is being challenged by Lance Regan. Lance get the ball, gets the ball out over the line. This will be a line ball for down. With 14 minutes gone in the first half, the score is made 3 4, down 2 7. And that is level pegging. Uh, the second cut taken by the down wing half or Peter Farden or Frank Lynch now has the ball in his hand and Frank a mighty clearance up towards the centre, double down by Jerry Regan. The ball breaks out here as a near wing. Declan Marston now on the ball for me, gets the ball up towards Richie Mia and it's Richie. Oh grab tip on by Rich onto Rich onto Jerry Regan, but it just it didn't it just didn't come off. But the ball is cleared by the number five, Paddy McMullen up down over the end line. It's a line ball for me to be taken by Declan Marston. And Declan, a newcomer on this team. As this year. Michael Dockerman gets the ball out towards Jerry Regan. Jerry Regan now on the ball. The ball just will not come up for him. He hits the ball on towards the goal on the ground. It goes into Ben Tansy and Ben clips the ball on towards the, the down goalkeeper. The down goalkeeper coming out with the ball. Clears it out to his right corner back, Brian Bell. And it's Brian Bell now on the ball. The number two is challenged by Frank McCann, but gets his puck in. And the puck comes up to the 70, up to the lead 70 yard line. And the ball is broken from Christy Kelly. Paddy Kelly now on the ground. And it's Christy Kelly. The ball's gone over the line. It's a line ball for Mead. This game now very close at the moment as the scores are level pegging. The next score now will be a very vital, vital score in this match. A great side end cut there by Christy Kelly. Ben Tansy now on the ball. Sends out towards this swing. Tom Massey now from the Kaline Club racing out to the ball. And it's Tom now with the ball in his hand. He's, still, he's trying to make it room to swing the stick. Oh, got a great piece of play there by Tom Massey. And he gets the ball in towards the, the down goals. The, it's broken up by the full back, but Tom gets the rebound. And it's Tom fighting hard for this ball. He takes a shot right across the square, across towards Ben Tansy. But, but the ball is a bit... Too much strength in the ball and the ball goes wide. Yeah. The beat with the horns here in the background must be Belive. They must have won the Division 2 football being at Navin. Puck out now taken by Noel Keith and is up towards Brian Connor. Frank is now on the ball for me and Frank the ball slapped off his stick. But Frank goes back to regain the ball. And a mighty clearance by Frank in up towards Richie Mia and Paddy McMullen. And Richie's beaten by Paddy. And Paddy sends the ball up towards the centre. Who in turn the ball is, is intercepted by Terence Ferguson. And Terence now is coming more into the game in the midfield. Up to Richie Mia. Richie Mia over to Jerry Regan. Jerry Regan trying to get room to, to swing a stick. And a great shot from Jerry Regan. And another great point from Jerry Regan. And that means Jerry Regan scored two very valuable points for Mead in the second half. That leads to score Mead 3 5 down 2 7. Mead now are a point in head. With 15 minutes gone in the first half. Now Terence Ferguson playing a great game now here in the middle of the field. Has got the ball up towards Jerry Regan. Jerry is beaten toward this time by Brendan Orr. And Brendan gets, clears his lines up towards Frank Lynch. And Frank Lynch now playing very soundly here in the mid defence. Up towards Paddy Kelly. And it's Paddy Kelly now going one of his famous solo runs. He's after making great ground. And he's gone 30 yards the ball. He takes a shot. It's in towards the down goals. In between Frank McCann and the full bag. But... Frank McCann doubles in the ball, but he's beaten by the corner back, and it's Richie Mead now on the ball for me. Slams out to Tom Massey, and Tom Massey now fumbling with the uh, he fumbled that ball, but the ball is still in, in is still in the hole trouble. The down number seven, Dermot Woods, and Dermot clears his lines up towards Brian Connor, 
and Anthony McGagan. Brian is beaten this time, and it comes to his bounds, number 10. But the, the, the attack is broken up by, by Moss Connor, and the ball is sent in towards the mid goals, but Peter Farrell is there, and Peter clears his lines. Right corner back for me here today, up towards Richie Mia, and it's made on the attack once again, but the attack is again broken up by Dermot Woods. And Dermot clears his lines up towards the half hour line, but Paddy Kelly is there once again for Mead and clears, puts Mead in the attack once again. The ball breaks over the heads of the half back line, it's in towards Frank McCann, the full back. The down full back fighting for you have the ball, but also McCann is also fighting hard the ball. McCann now has the ball in his hand, he's going through, he's fouled, he takes a shot, but the referee has blown his whistle and awards the free to Mead. McCann, one of the longest ever members of the Mead team here today, going to take this free himself. Won an All-Ireland with Mead in 1970, and Richie Mia also was in that team who came on as a sub. Only surviving members of that team. Yes, so he hope he comes, he takes his free, and is over the pint. Another pint for Mead. That puts Mead 3-6 down 2-7. And 17 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Correction, 17 and a half minutes gone in the second half. The down goalkeeper is looking for a hurling ball. Ben of the is making his appearance for Mead. Brendan has won all Iron Ireland with Mead at under 16 and minor hurling level. Also playing for his club this morning, as already mentioned, the first half against Trim. Won it be won the it must be one history making here today because Ben is only 18 years of age playing on a mid senior hurling team. And the puck out now is taken by Noel Keith and Noel sends it up towards Declan Marston. And Declan's beaten by his counterpart who doubles the ball and sends it in towards the down full forward line. And Peter Farrell intercepts but sends the ball across the line for a line ball for a down. A line ball will be taken by the down left cornerback Paddy Braniff and Paddy because the ball is a beautiful cut in towards the mid goals Paddy McIntyre down full forward is there the ball comes out it comes out to the number 10 Anthony McGeegan Anthony takes a shot it's in towards the mid goals this is trouble for me but the ball, ball is cleared by Paddy McIntyre and McIntyre out towards the far wing Christy Kelly in the ball Christy has the ball and Christy clears his lines up towards the very far side here and Richie Mee now on the ball for me and Richie a long, a long clearing from Richie up towards the down half back line and the down corner back Brian Bell has the ball, throws up the ball but he's blocked down by Ben Tansy. The ball now is still on the ground but Brian Bell gets in his puck in and he clears his lines right up to Brendan Nor. As Brendan Nor gets the puck into Demer Prey and Demer Prey now on the ball and Demer, Demer is a judge to have been fouled but the referee gives the free to Mead. Mead the Mead man must have got a push in the back or either his hurry stick was being held. Now, Paddy Kelly to take this free for me, down sending on the sub, their number 18, Jay Mason. And Mason hands his name the referee, and coming off or down is their number, Demon O'Pray. Now, Paddy Kelly now for me with, the, with this free, 50 yards from his own goals, and Paddy. A very good free it is indeed, comes up towards the, the mid 21 yard line, goes over the heads of the half back line and back there is, is Brian Bell for for down and Brian clears the line just 10 yards but back there is their number 6 Christy McGee and Christy sends the ball over towards the line has gone across the line and it's gone wide it's a sideline cut for Mead Twenty minutes, 21 minutes gone in the second half 19 minutes remaining in this game the, the cut is taken by Ben Tansy and Ben Tansy sends in a lovely cut broke down to Frank McCann Frank McCann now has the ball in his hand he takes a shot it, it, it's dropping around the square up, puts the full back puts up his hand with the ball it's broken down by Brendan Fisher Brendan Fisher takes a shot it's a great goal I don't know who scored it I think it was Richie Mee that scored it the sub that came on it was himself and Brendan Fisher Simons there's no doubt about it but Brendan Fisher Simons probably one of the youngest players to come on to a mid senior hurling team was involved in that score. 
Now, Noel keeps once again now with the puck out. And Noel. A good, a good puck out comes out 80 yards. But Frank Lace now playing in the middle in the middle of the field. Gone the sore. He's after making 20 yards. He's trying to get room to swing his stick. He hand passes the ball up towards Richie, but Richie is beaten by Brian Bell. And Brian Bell gets it up to Christy McGeegan. Anthony McGeegan. Anthony McGeegan sends the ball up towards Jay Mason. That's after coming on. But uh, Lance Regan's there and clears the line up towards Jerry Regan. Now Jerry Regan now after making 20 yards now with the ball. Sends it in towards the in towards the mid goals. In towards Frank McCann the full and, and the full back. Frank, Frank gets his puck in. It's a very sharp one. The ball is cleared out by the full back. Jerry Regan now on the ball. Jerry swings the stick in once again in towards Richie Mee and Richie Mee now advancing the ball tips it out to Frank McCann this must be another score for me Frank McCann takes a shot and it's over the bar another score for me that makes me 4-7 down 2-7 and 23 minutes gone in the second half if me can hold out now they stand a great, great chance of promotion this year so they do Desi Ferguson holding court saying that we should put a net behind the far end here. I uh, hope the trim officials please take note. to be taken once again by no kick up down something here now the ref the Out now by no case of up down and no sense there's uh, pucks out the ball to the very far side the ball is dropping down between Frank Lynch and the center field man Frank is beaten for the ball ball goes in towards this Jay Mason came off for down, but he's beaten by Lance Reagan and Lance now on the ball, comes out to turns and turns on the ball, turns Ferguson on the ball, now cl clears out to Christy Kelly and clear, Christy clears up to the end of the field, but comes down now on the attack again, goes in between Paddy McIntyre and the down full forward, the down full forward gets the ball and he takes a shot and it's a point a good point there by the full forward, Brendan Cole the far down score is now down 2-8 mid 4-7 And 24 minutes gone in the second half. <laughs> Michal Gargan now with a puck out for me. Not as busy in the second half as he was in the first half. It was a good puck out for Michal. Up towards the down half back line. It's slapped out by the down to the half back, but Terence Ferguson got the break and sends a great ball. It's all the way over the bar from Terence Ferguson. That leaves me 4 8 down 2 8. And 25 minutes gone in the second half. Five minutes remaining in this game. And it's no keep now with a puck out. Up towards Declan Marston. Declan slaps the ball down. But the, he's beaten and torn by his. By the down man. Paddy Kelly now in the ball for me. He's on the ground. He's trying to get the ball up. He gets the ball out towards Terence Ferguson, but the ball goes a bit too far beyond Terence, and he's beaten by, by the centre half back, Chris McGeegan. And Chris tends it down on, on the attack. But the attack is broken up by Christy Kelly. Christy Kelly now on the ball for me. Yes, gets the ball out towards the centre of the field under Paddy Kelly. Paddy Kelly doubles on the ball. But the down centre half back there is once again Christy McGeegan. And Christy sends it on. Sends it up with Paddy McIntyre out in front of his man this time. He's trying to come out with the ball. He sends it across to Moss Con And Moss is beaten by Anthony McGeegan and Anthony sends down on the attack but, but Peter Farrell breaks up the attack and Peter sends it out to Moss Connor and it's Moss Connor now on the ball the ball is very near the side and the ball it's not gone out yet down, down still have the ball but Declan Marsh now coming out with the ball for Mead and it's Declan now clips it out to make room for himself he still has the ball but he just can't bring the ball under control but Paddy Kelly is there and Paddy clears his lines up towards the wing Richie Mead now running under the ball for Mead and Richie is beaten by the down number five, the, um, Paddy McMullen, and Paddy McMullen's turn is beaten by the Simons, and Brendan gets the ball in towards Richie Mee, and it's Richie now, has the ball in his hand, he's been marked very, very tightly, back to, back to Brendan Simons, Brendan Simons now going on the sore run, he takes a shot in towards the down goals, but there's three down men there, where's the mid full forward line, out comes the downs, corner back, Brendan Branov, he's fouled, and he gets his three. Four minutes remain in this first half, Brendan 
in the second half. Uh, down on the attack now. Number eight, far down. Brendan Orr gets the ball in towards the mid goals. The attack is broken up by Peter Farr. Up towards Brian Connor. And Brian gets the ball out in the centre of the field where there's two down men. And it's the number 10, Anthony McGeegan. Sends in a shot and stands over there. Another point for down. That means that down is 2-9, mid 4-8. And there's three minutes left in the match. There's some controversy over this goal. The referee's gone in to, to see what the problem is. The referee has made the final decision there since the ball is wide. So I hope the scoreman pl please take note. Down. 2-8. Mead, Mead 4 8. Puck out to be taken by Mihal Garrigan and Mihal. A long puck out up towards Ben Tansy. And the ball goes a bit too far for Ben. But attack is broken up with the down, the down corner back is coming out again. His puck is blocked by Jerry Regan. And Frank Lynch makes a, a a great attempt to stop the ball from going by him, but he fails. Ball comes up again, and Lance Regan breaks up the attack. What's Connor on the ball? He's beaten and torn by Anthony McGagan. And out comes Peter Farrell for the ball, but Lance Regan cuts across from there. That's the, no understanding there in the mid back line. Out comes Paddy McIntyre with the ball. Up towards Moss Connor, and Moss, a great clearance. Up towards this side of the field, up between Declan Marston and Paddy Braniff. But Declan now won the ball for me. Yes, Declan's still on the ball for me. Yes, sends the ball in towards the centre. And Brendan Van Simons, a good puck indeed, but goes over the very, very end line and it goes wide. Two minutes remaining in this match. Can Mead hold out? The score is Mead 4-8, down 2-8. Puck out taken by Noel Keith. Sends up towards the centre of the field. Frank Lynch gets the uh, score, he sticks the ball. Brendan Mead in the ball, or Brendan, Richie Mead in the ball, but Richie is beaten, but... Uh, the ball is sent in by Paddy Kane, the down goes and is, is cleared by Paddy McBraniff and he sends down on the attack. Peter fired on the ball, but Peter gets to touch the ball and clears it out towards the near wing here and Terrence being pushed off the ball. But Peter, Peter Farrell is there once again and this, oh, this time Peter Farrell, a very, very rude tackle there by the down forward. But the referee is on the spot and Mead got a very well aired and free there. That was a very, very mean tackle by the down forward. Paddy Kane takes this free from Mead. One minute remaining in the match. Mead leading by two goals. A very good free indeed. Sent out to Terence Ferguson, who is all on his own. He brings the ball under control. Yes, he has the ball. He sends the ball in towards the down goals. In between Ben Tansy. But the attack is broken up by the left, left right corner back. Oh, it's a great save there by No Kid, the down goalkeeper, at the expense of a 70. There's no doubt about it, but Mead have won this match now as time has run out and down. My colleague here in the press box tells me there's 20 seconds to go. But the referee will have to allow time for the 70 to be taken. Paddy Kelly lifts strikes and it's a, it's a brilliant point score by mid centre half back Paddy Kelly. Puck out taken by Noel Keith up towards the centre here. Paddy Kay on the ball for me. And another free for me. Another rough tackle there by the down number 12. Paddy Kay now standing over the ball. Bends, lifts, and strikes. Again, it's another very, very good free. It's going to go a bit to the left of the post and wide. Puck out again, once uh, taken again by Noel Keith up down. The ball comes out of the middle of the field, the attack broken up by Terence Ferguson. And it's down on the attack here, but again, it's Christy Kane now playing left half back for Mead. He's gone on a brilliant solo and he's at least made 70 yards. He still has the ball on the stick. He hasn't handled it on the stick at all yet. But the attack is broken up by the down centre half back and he puts down on the attack. 
Lars this time Lars Regan or Connor back this time beaten by George Mason. But the attack is broken up by Brian Connor. But the ball breaks the, the down full forward, who sends the ball in towards the mid goes. Paddy McIntyre goes high for the ball. The ball breaks down to Lars Regan. Lars Regan out to Brian Connor. And Brian sends me out of defence into attack. Up towards R Richie Mee. And it's Richie. Gets the ball in towards the mid goals. But the thing is, has Jerry Regan the legs to make this ball to make this to get to the ball? Jerry Jer is still in the ball, but Jerry is beaten. And the ball goes over the side over the end over the sideline as a line ball for Mead. And this line ball will be taken by Ben Tansy. Two minutes overtime in the second half. And the game is all over. And that puts Mead in a very, very good position for outright right honours in the National Hurling League Division 3 of 1984-85. The B team now making their way out of the park. Uh, selectors and coach and players must feel very, very happy indeed that we won our first game in the National Hurling League and our next game now is on Sunday the 21st away against Longford. And next Sunday here we have our senior hurling final between Ratmaline and Kaline, our junior hurling final between Baconstown and Kilskia. And at half past 12 we have Trim and Kilmesson in the number 21 hurling semi-final. And yet, to, uh, yet, and yet to come has the biggest game of all, the minor hurling semi-final real play between Appi and Kaline. Thanks very much for, for uh, listening to me here today and no doubt we shall meet you again. A bit of help I'm going to need here now is the word nowhere to fall. Go and do it, John. Yeah, I'll do it. Good lad. It's not that you can't see the ball that easy in that. No, you. Is it like hurling on television? Well, it's something like that, but the difference is, you know, you know when you're looking out there now? Yeah, you're looking at the back. It's all the same for me. And the ball is the same for me. And come to look, this is what it is. I've got to put the ball to the ball today. Mm. But when well, a high ball is there, you look like a ball. 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 This girl. That's just it. 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 But that's in colour, that. No, that's only a ball. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, the home. Oh, the here, though. Oh, How many you got? Are you going to? You know. Sean, you can raise up higher, you can. You can you want to get higher, right? You'd rather look at higher, would you? Yeah. Maybe we did a count in the last match. He did, yeah. I think so. John, who's that for height? Chase, we're up any higher to be. No, lads, no caution because you'll be heard. What you like, you know, you. It's not the best way to do it, with your hand. You pull it in and out, you can go for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never told it, did you? Yeah. 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 We're all over the last last 15 minutes. I can the No, not even that. Not even that. That was it. That was it. Yeah, the 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 You can hear a couple of pairs of rooms together at first Spot the ball, Pretty happy the ball, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I found that today. It's too dark. He was trying to watch it. I'm just good. Oh, yeah. I've got a third glass at home. I was trying to bring them for you.
There's enough sad. Two brothers, mate. Fucking fifteen. No. Oh, lad, he's giving you a little bit. Ten, yeah, one, two. Yeah. 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 Did you want to go on ice cloud that time? Have you focused in on that, John, have you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Are you using this, eh? I don't want to do anything. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Are you good more like now? Are you using this? Six <laughs> 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 How is that? Come on, lads, again. Come on! Come on, lads, again. Come on! Come on, lads, again. Well, I have to stop it at time to get into the breather. See, forget the phone. Let me touch him. Come on, David, the phone. Let me touch him. 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 I know, lads. Come on, Manny. Come on, take it off. John, you're the you're the hand, John, Mister. You're the. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Quick up. Again, me. Yours, John. Come on, you have to cover it. Tennis. Oh, tennis. Oh, tennis. Oh, tennis. Oh, I'm 
What is that? Come on, lads, good lad. What is that? Pull! Come on, John. And again, good chap. Well done. And again. Good at Pat Hickey. What is that? Hook him. Hook him. And again, John. Well done. I'll tell John McDonald. What is now? Go back in now. That's your eyes up. That's the idea, man. Pick up your men now, lad. Come on, who's going over there with him? Who's supporting over there, John? Good out, Mickey Nolan. Don't be calling out there for more. Come on, John. 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 Come on, Come on, Nick, wait, you have to move. 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 Come on, let's go. 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 Yeah, I just tip down and get that stitched up now. Come on, lad. Hey, hey. Got a fair on here. Come on and go look at the break. Thank you. 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 Thank I'll leave it to the left. Come on, Carlo. Let's line up for a time. Oh, that's going Good job, good job, you can take it to the 
There was only two minutes left, and he got ice to Come on! Come on!
How do you know how to focus on that? Look, look on that. It's the hand focus. Yeah, yeah. Well done, man. Well done. Come on, back in one again, Carlo. That's right, yeah, you're right. That's going to have to have a <coughs> Come on, let's follow you! Come on, Mark! Come on, Mark! Again, out! Come on! Hey, you want to tell you? I think it's a good thing. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going
Get Harry and Dirty. That's the focus. Focus. Oh, I understand. You can focus it there, see, to here. No, you can't. Wait to the camera. <laughs> 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 yeah. Is it is this going on now? What's on? Yeah. Oh lord. Hold on, hold on. How about the rack? Oh, look. You don't wear the hell now. You've got a hard time. You never step it on. You're on television, smile. Smile, you're on candid time. As they run through the stars and the mean minor team. Get Mick to give us a wave again. Mick. Smile. Oh, like he's looking away this thing. He's too clever. He's looking at this. 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 He's looking
Yeah. Oh, that's the power. I'm fucking making stuff. Yeah. 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 No, no, I don't want to talk. Have cigarettes. I have a Oh, Beg your pardon. <laughs> 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 Alright, Derek, you have to do this one. Give Derek a leg up, Pretty good, thank you. Pretty much no money Bull! Hit the other! I'm still torn in here. Yo! Come on, Hatch! Come on, Kellogg's! That's the style! On the double! Come on, Martin, let it go! That's the style! Oh, oh, we need you! Oh, pansy! Oh, yes! Is that pansy on? Yeah, I hear more pansy. I Come on, Come on, man. Uh, you can go behind the fire balls down there, would you? Come on, Alan. Come on, Alan. Come on, Mick. Come on, Mick. Another two more show. Two more show. That's it, Slayer. Excuse me, please. Your shoes, what'd you do? Oh, get your ass. Come on, go for it. Flag it out, John. I never get a new Yeah, I swear to God. Good idea, Come on, 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 
Well done. 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 Come on, 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 I can't make a person up and down. Oh! Am I down right now? That's it. Keep it swing. Come on, come on, come Who's covering behind him? Come on! Nobody covering him! Come on, Jim! Look at that, Pat Minchin! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Jesus, Peter, all over behind you. That's the way. Come on, 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 Thank you. Who's calling Come here, no one can hear us talking. Are you serious? Oh, shit. What's up? Sound as well. What's the sound? Oh, buddy, I. Play card legs, yo. Oh, I'm going to get some Oh, I'm going to get Oh, Hey, will you go the way, will you? Come on, up, Carl. Come on, John. I love you now. Let's go. Are you playing? No. Oh. Come on, cornflakes. Come on, Carl. Let's get out Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's at home? 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 Come on, come on, 
As the kamikaze man number seven. I think you don't know what you have. No space, man. Get on your motorbike and go. Out of the way. You shot down. Yeah, you shot down. You shot down. You shot down. I know, yeah. Come on, play. Come on, 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 Come <laughs> that better, man. Tell the lines, man. You get you come out of the way if you want. That's low enough, isn't it? Yes. Don't press any buttons. There. Still a big room. Oh, you're lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Game's over, Dad. Uh, out of the way. Ah. Excuse me, out of the way, please. Put the ball. She's the height of him. Come on. Wait, what? I'm sorry. <coughs> don't use it. <coughs> <coughs> oh, this is good fun. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, See him around the black nigga. Where's he going? Where's he going? Give that rabbit jersey and say again. Oh, come on, Frank. I know, Frank. Let it go! Stop, Perry. No, no. Oh, well, blam. Space man, no? Stop, man, the boots. Green jersey ref. Do that, do that, do that. He's taking the linesman's name. Who's going up? He's the linesman's name. <laughs> this is good fun, I like this. <laughs> Wrong decision there. Who's that going on? I do. Well, we seem to have some trouble here now with... Come on, Peter. Hmm? Oh, boy, Peter Farden. No, That's it, Peter. Let's give him a hand. Come on. Oh, boy, Peter. Well done. Come on out, Jim. Oh, boy, Jim. Go the way, Harry, will you? Harry, in the way. Why is that? Oh, Jim. Come on. Come on. Who scored it? Who scored it? Patrick Cannon on for uh, Ben Tansy. Jersey, can you take, can you take the jersey off now. As Tansy scores his first goal, the Royal County. Yeah. So. Let me do for why not? I'm using that. Oh, what's got who? No, I'm enjoying this one. Who's going now? Oh, Come on, then catch it. <coughs> Give the referee jersey. Oh. Can we just him? Jump it up and down, have a look. Yeah, yeah, that's the That's the players. It should be in the middle. It's it's down. Be in the middle. Halfway down. Where are we going? Oh, mom, Paddy. Oh, Paddy. Oh, Paddy. Oh, Mick, will you pull? Mick, Mom, pull. Oh, pull, oh, pull, oh, pull, oh, pull that. Oh, Peter, you're no good. Oh, no. 
Free there, right? Referee! Ah, give him a jersey. Space man, get him! Alien, get the alien. E.T. I don't have to pick the game up a little. Oh, me! I'm not having dead on now. Do come. It's Brendan McGovern with the ball. Looks for Yant McCann. I know, Frank. Frank tries for the block, doesn't get it in. Into Martin Smith. With Into Tansy. Who's going to for 65. It's an easy, sorry. That's Martin Smith and no. Who's the number one? I think I do commentary here. Is that the microphone? Oh, no. What is a bit of a word? I thought it was here. It was important. No! Harry, you must know some names of players. Number 19. <laughs> Bye, Frank. Come on, Jerry. You'll make it, Jerry. Come on. Come on, Jerry. Up by 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 just look for a minute. You're flat now, isn't it? It's just a light. He said the yoke, some of you move back. That was your brother. Oh, that's a two loose bus and loose mark on it. Spectacular right by man, it's gonna be the wild. Kevin Keegan, spectacular right there. There are 16 minutes gone at this stage of the match. No. I do come today. Oh, Michael, you should have called. Three five to six. Three five to Brendan McGovern. Well, to Ben Tansy. The keeper has it at the moment. But he has to. Come on, old lads, come on in. Come on, Mark, over the bar, Mark. Ben Tadzi gets his bonus. Come on, Ben! Get the lead out. No, the stick. Come on, chair, Ryan! Come on, and run, chair! Need her again. That's four black ladies in the county. Come out, Bernard! Bernard, come out. What do you want to come out? Oh, oh, I wish the lines were going to get out of the way. He's in there. 
Excuse me, landsman. Hey, lads, hey. Children. Ladies, man. Thank you very much. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Oh, Kieran, Farge, we're all standing in the way. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Move the lens. The switch on the mid team panel is uh, is coming off and going on. Uh, there's a switch now on the mid team. Um, Jimmy Powery is going on to replace Bernard Smith. That'll hardly be fair. It's the it's the Yank McCann now with a 21 yard free. If I know the Yank, no problem. That's it. No problem. What? I need it. I changed. I changed. There's a change now on the Carlo team. I'd say the kamikaze man could be coming off. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not. He is. No. He's a man of the house, Emmy. Must have been the best the car lot. As there's ten minutes left. Franco was very calling back for some today. There's some with a little bit of speed. She's floored on the ground and the guy with a shell is up. It looks like that. He's on the 21. He's on the 14. Come on, old lads again. Come on, old lads. Look a bit of Paul and Devers him running over that seat. Nothing doesn't matter. What's the man, Jim? What's the man? Huh? Ow! Why? Come on, back then, Tyson! You're very original! Come on, half-hour in the wall, I think you can get it. How are you doing? You can do something. Oh, please, Paul! Oh, Paul! Come on, you know. You know. You know. You know. You the man power. I'm not hard, am I? I'm not hard, am I? I'm not hard, am I? I'm not Black Friar, you broke the park. What's the way to do? Go the way, you black Friar. doesn't usually use that, but... He heard it somewhere today. Steps! Give that reference. 49 steps. What was a good fellow? 39. 39. Oh, well, the very new edition of it. And more of it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Number seven, the Kamikaze man from Carlo. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Come on, 
to seven. Yeah, how It's half an hour. Swing! Come on, Peter! Just a weakness. Find your stake, honey. It's not. It's a wrong decision, right? Huh? <laughs> Kevin, go do it, please. I'll cover the race as well. Keep going, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. Bullshit on the road! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, the ref, the Germans, don't hit the That's the one that wakes up. Yeah. Come on, 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 could you do that? Come on, Frank. 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 Oh, what's in this house? What's in this? Are we winning? Are we? Yeah. Great. Come on, me down again. My few jargon with the puck out. Came out the he dropped it on the seven yard line out here on our side. Of the of Five minutes ago. Come on, Kazi. Ah, come on. Jesus. Come on. The Kamikaze man gets himself a lucky free there. He bangs, he lifts, he strikes. It's a good ball into the square. Oh, it's it's down there by number three. It's pulled on by number 13. And it's in the back of the net, number one, mister. That's Jimmy McKay coming ahead and here. Jimmy McKay. Step, Frank. O'Leary. <laughs> Check the back of your wing. I had some. He's done up the way he was blocked by Lawrence. Oh, 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 hit the ball, Mark! Get into the square! Get in! Get in for McCann! Yeah! Yeah, boy! Who's going? On the rail! And Jack O'Shea scores. Put over, Yank! Do you know what I think? I think that Carlo are going to have a look at this as well. In this I have huh? two matches on the one video. No. No. Not having Copy the race reserved for all matches. I take the focus on charging waiting time as well as everything else. He's missing a big match of Wolfen Crow Park today, have you? That's very hard to read, don't Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the car is there, Joe. Nice, anyway, Johnny. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I saw him as long as he was able to get the full forward today and having a rest. That's why. It was good. That's comfort. Talk yeah. comfort. Oh, don't be able to stand there and know that you. <laughs> you get a free dinner. I think, I think, I think. I think, I think, I think <laughs> They should supply a high stove for you. <laughs> I shouldn't have had to tell you how to do it. The bar stove. The bar of all around you. Can of pain, you could have done the pause. That car wasn't big enough. Could have painted the scars on the net. Oh my god! Put Bonnie and Tyson down to Mary McGinnis. Come on now, Mary McGinnis. Come on Matty Mattis just has the ball in his pint. <laughs> Number two has it. Number eight, he can just pull him with it. Between the two of them, the make 20. <laughs> and it's out over the sideline for a cut to um, the sideline kick for uh, Carlo. For, for Gareth, <laughs>
Men det är det för bord med. Hoppa i fat och pris från Kelda. Jag tror det är bra att Alright, Mr. McCormick is on the roll in! Paul comes out to meet him on the floor. God bless us themselves. Two minutes. Two minutes left. So into the last two minutes. 22 minutes left, lads. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know how we saw that from there. Harry! A good idea to do What? In there in the corner. Come here! <laughs> <laughs> Been that man or he? How are we fair practice at this, isn't he? He's so used to gathering on himself. I love a good conversation. I love a good conversation. Come on behind the mops, mate. Shh. Manpower, manpower. Now engaged. Manpower, the services. We take a commercial break here. Don't forget to join us for the last quarter of this match. Players walking out the field here seem very bored with the proceedings. <laughs> You're in the last minute. You're in the last minute. The sub looks dejected. There you are, there you are, there you are. Yeah. Come on, Farley. <laughs> Board's middle. Come believer, come drum, medal hunter. Oh my god! <laughs> Who is Lacey going to give this decision? Still ahead of your goal. Oh! Because for 70. Mick Gargan made a good decision down there. Hard will, yeah. It's good as a score. It's just 75. More than likely the last puck. 65, excuse me. More than yeah. the last puck of the match. Jesus. That's it now. They're going two points ahead of me. He has his arse cut to the camera. He bends. He lifts. Strikes. And it's dropping short on the 21 yard. Maybe 14. The card is a goal! It's a goal! I should go back there. I'll figure all that out. Very lucky goal, there. Oh, I'll tell you, it's two minutes after time! Huh? Time is up. Oh. Two points made ahead. Oh, time is up. And the red! Who won? As the referee calls full time, Mead have won by one goal and two points. <laughs>